Hi everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to Key Automation Classes. And in the last session, we have seen about the different types of default reporting available through the Cucumber plugin. We have created XML report, we have created JSON report, we have created HTML reports as well, right? And uh, today we'll be uh, doing a new thing like uh, we'll be implementing uh, automation utilities, right? So the common course, whatever is uh, applicable to all the test cases, right? So if you see here uh, the instantiation of the driver and navigate to the URL, right? And similarly closing of the browser driver window. So these things are uh, common to the all the test cases. So here we are going to move them into a different package called as automation utilities package and we'll create a class called as base steps, right? And which can be, uh, whose code can be reused across all the test cases, okay? So let's do one thing. So let's create a new package here inside source test Java, create a new package. So new, let's say package and we'll say this package as uh, automation utilities this is automation utilities okay so now inside the automation utilities we can add a class new java class let's say base steps so now don't ask again I always add to the git okay so public class base steps okay and uh, here what we are going to do we are going to create the uh, public static web driver right and it is going to be accessed by the other page classes and the step definition class and we will navigate to the url and close the browser okay so these common steps we are going to have it inside the base step class okay so okay so let's declare the web driver first okay and the web driver should be public okay so let's say public static okay why public and static we want it to be accessible throughout the project and uh, why static because it has to be loaded once okay we don't have to keep on creating the object of the same web driver again and again right public static and then let's say web driver and the reference is driver you can give us driver right so public static web driver driver we have in, uh, initial uh, not initialized we have just defined the web driver variable and then let's define the method right so one method is the uh, like uh, navigating to the application right and closing the browser so let's say uh, let's say public void and we can say open url or something okay open url or navigate navigate to the application whatever right so i'm saying i'm just saying open url and here i have to uh, initialize the driver first okay so driver request to new chrome driver so as of now we are going with the chrome driver only so you can see here i am directly initializing the chrome driver going forward maybe mostly in the next session we will be working with the different sets of the driver right whatever the driver information is passed depending upon that either chrome or firefox or edge those drivers are going to get instantiated okay so we'll see that in the next class maybe okay so now driver request to new chrome driver and then driver dot get right so driver i can copy the code from here everything else remains same so driver dot get uh, navigate to the url then maximize the window and uh, you print something right okay just take these statements from here go to the base steps and just put them here okay so initialize the chrome driver and then navigate it to the automation exercise and then maximize the window and then navigate it to the application okay so this is what uh, is our uh, open url and then we can write the another one public and here void i'll say close browser okay or quit browser okay whatever name you can give okay so i'm saying just think close driver close browser but here actually we are going to use the quit method right driver dot quit we have already seen right we got some uh, with the close method we got some error right so it is better to use the driver dot quit method okay and let's say one is our statement driver is closed okay so now we are done okay so all uh, whatever the common things are there we created a package called automation utilities and inside this we have created a class called base steps and in the base steps we have given all those information right so one is the open url another one is the closed browser right so now okay so now we have done this one so now what we'll do we have to use it right 
so how to use it so let's go to the step definition right so open login page step definition perfect okay so now home page is already declared web driver is already declared so already we are going to use the web driver from the base steps right so we don't need it here and uh, no okay let me see okay uh, let it be here for typing we have the home page uh, already declared expected page title that is fine uh, login page step definition right okay so user navigates to the application right and uh, here we have to create the base steps class okay so let's these things i can get rid of because we have it in the base steps right so now what i need to do i need to create private let's say base steps right base steps okay let's say base steps okay this is the variable and now i'll say base steps equals to new base steps base steps equals to new base steps oh sorry what was that new base steps okay Fine. so now i created the base steps uh, the object of the base steps class okay and then i can say base step dot open url okay and home page equals to new home page of the driver anyhow we need to pass the driver information so we can keep it over here okay. uh, no we don't have to keep it here because see the, we are passing this driver instance this driver instance if you see it can come from here also right from your uh, what is that uh, we just now defined in our base step right so here the public static web driver driver right and first thing is we have to extend first did, did i extend here that is the problem okay so okay so let's say extends base steps okay so here we are going to extend the base steps and then we don't need this web driver driver now because the driver is declared in the uh, our base steps right this is a public static web driver driver so when this class is getting extended right and this class is getting extended those all those variables and the properties is accessible here so i am directly uh, saying okay private home page home page and these are the classes i'm just uh, creating the object of those classes and uh, that web driver i can directly use so here it will not complain right see so automation utilities dot base steps it is coming directly from the base steps okay so it works and now after doing that uh, the remaining steps will remain same but let's update this last uh, method driver dot quit instead of calling this one i can just say base steps dot close browser okay so now we are done right so we can run now okay Cucumber runner, let's run it. So, always when you have the common steps in the base step, your class should extend the base steps. Okay, your step definition is extending the base steps, and there we are giving the uh, driver information, right? And if you see here, let's see the run results. Okay, so everything happened properly. Okay. So now we to application, click on sign up login page, sign up login page is displayed, driver is closed, okay. So the execution was fine, okay. So it was successfully done, right. And uh, we can do one thing. Uh, in the next session, we'll be seeing how to externalize this uh, URL as well as how to externalize your browser information, right. So if you see the URL is passed from here, where exactly I have given the base step only, right, okay so this is right here only this is hard coding right we don't want to hard code this this is kind of data tomorrow if you want to update uh, this one right suppose your endpoint is changing so how would you do that you have to come to the code and change it right we will keep it in some properties file this one even the browser related information also will keep it in the uh, properties file and from there we'll read okay so that's all for this session guys if you guys are really enjoying this session so i'll request you to subscribe to my channel and please Okay. if you have any doubt comment out in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible and please do like the content and share it with your friends okay so we'll meet in the next session thank you guys bye bye